meeting is being recorded per Governor Lamont's Executive Order 7.B. And because we're in a pandemic, um, so tonight uh, we're at the Inland Wetlands and Conservation Commission meeting uh, for the town of Weathersfield. Uh, it's a public meeting. It's Wednesday, January 20th, uh, 2021. Uh, this is a virtual meeting in accordance with the governor's executive order because of the ongoing pandemic. At this point in the meeting, we have an opportunity for the public to comment. Um, there is an opportunity for the public to comment uh, up to the meeting via the town engineer. So Derek, did you receive any comments at all? I did not. Okay. We just had somebody join too. Yes. Whoever uh, just joined with the phone number 9640, last four digits, just let us know who you are. You're on mute too. Uh, Where'd they go? Well, I've got another number coming in. Whoever just came in with 8445, can you just identify yourself? You're on mute. Whoever dialed in, you're on mute, so you may be talking and we can't hear you. Just have to unmute yourself. There Hi, you go. Mary Frazier. Hi, Mary. Hi. Okay, so we we just um, passed the public comment part of the meeting and um, mm -hmm. seeing that there's no public comment at this point in time, we'll move on to the public meeting uh, portion of our meeting. Uh, so we have mm -hmm. application number 728-20, it's JNS Enterprises Incorporated, 1785 Berlin Turnpike, parcel number 031-022 application for slope improvements within a regulated area. And with us tonight, uh, representing the applicant is. For the record, Kevin Johnson, close Jensen and Miller. Uh, so if, if you would allow uh, me to share my screen, Derek, I'll put the plan up so I could point to a few things. Uh, you should be able to once you try. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, so uh, members of the commission, you'll remember at last month's meeting, uh, we discussed the stabilization of uh, that existing slope uh, with riprap. Uh, we also discussed the creation of a riprap scour hole uh, at an existing pipe outlet uh, that was proposed as a means to mitigate for uh, about seven and a half cubic yards of fill that was being placed in the 100 year floodplain. Uh, and again, just to uh, refresh everyone's memories, the blue represents uh, the 100 year floodplain from town mapping uh, and the magenta represents uh, town wetland limits. Um, so at, at last month's meeting, um, the commission asked for some mitigation measures uh, to install that scholar hole within the wetland areas. Um, we subsequently revised the plans, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, to include a wetland seed mix that's indicated by the shaded areas. Um, that wetland seed mix consists of uh, sedges and rushes, uh, some Joe pie weed, uh, some milkweed amongst other species, uh, common species that you would find in a wetlands. Uh, and the mix that we're proposing is from New England wetland. Uh, seeds in, in Amherst, Massachusetts, common source for wetland plants and seeds. Uh, we also included uh, a, a dozen uh, shrubs, deciduous shrubs, uh, two species, uh, six on both sides uh, of that uh, seeded area, uh, basically at the toe of the slope. Um, those species include uh, six uh, northern arrowwood viburnum and six uh, spice bush. Uh, both of these species are, are native uh, plants typically used in mitigation and reclamation areas. Uh, 
they'll each grow probably in the neighborhood of six, 10 feet in height and spread. Um, and they each produce uh, uh, fruiting uh, for birds and, and other wildlife, uh, typically in the fall. Um, we uh, were in receipt of a uh, email from the town engineer. Uh, this is dated December 28, uh, 2020. Uh, there was uh, four comments uh, as part of that email. Um, the first one was to include the wetland seed mix, which I just discussed. Uh, the second one was to in, uh, add a note indicating uh, that the riprap that extends across the abutting, uh, uh, the property line to the abutting property to the north, that it either be removed uh, and stabilized um, or an agreement be reached with that property owner to allow it to remain in place. Um, we slightly modified that note. We said either to be removed and stabilized with an erosion control fabric, um, a, basically a straw coconut fabric. Um, the third comment uh, was to revise a label for the FEMA floodline um, to indicate that it was taken from FEMA mapping. Uh, that note was added to the plans. Uh, and then the final comment was to delete or label um, an orange line, which we had uh, near elevation 212. Um, that basically just illustrated uh, the, the flood elevation. So I believe we have uh, incorporated uh, the, the seed mixes and plantings that the commission was looking for, as well as addressing uh, the final comments from the town engineer. Um, so with that, that uh, basically concludes my comments and be happy to answer any questions the commission may have. Derek, did you have any other further comments on the application or <clears throat> you're good? No, I'm satisfied. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions or comments for the applicant? Yeah, I'd just like to uh, say thank you very much for taking care of that. Uh, it just be much, much better than it was going to be uh, to start with and take the steps to mitigate uh, the issues is, is fine with me. Thank you. Do we have any other questions or comments? Do we have a motion to approve the application? I'll make a motion if you want. Okay. I'll move to uh, approve application number 728-20, JNS Enterprises, Inc., 1785 Berlin Turnpike, parcel number 031-022. And do we have a second for that? Second. This is Clark. Okay, so I'll put it to a vote. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so that passes. Good luck. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Everyone stay safe. You too. Okay, so moving on to application number 729-21 ENS, uh, 648 Russell Road, LLC. 648 Russell Road, parcel number 014-003. Uh, it's an application for site clearing exceeding half an acre or 0 0.5 acres and installation of associated erosion controls. And with us tonight, representing the applicant is... Mark Lancor. <laughs> okay, and then would you like to share your screen or do you want Derek to present his screen for you. Uh, Derek has our plan. I think it'd be fine. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll put it up now. <clears throat> so members of the uh, commission, my name's Mark Lankor. I'm uh, the principal engineer with uh, Dymar uh, out of Southbury, Connecticut. And uh, 
our applicant uh, or the owner of the property is Angela Marie Sicilian. They uh, are also uh, own a, a <coughs> New York uh, uh, maintenance company, which uh, does a lot of work in Connecticut and in uh, uh, Massachusetts and New York in terms of maintenance of uh, a lot of our larger commercial facilities. So this property they had purchased, it's about uh, 1.8 acres located off of uh, Russell Road, also Connecticut uh, Route 424. And uh, they have proceeded with, and there's pictures here that show you that they have done some of the clearing work already had worked with the town uh, with regards to uh, next steps. Uh, and that included uh, providing and making sure the proper erosion controls were in place, including the uh, entry pads, uh, double silt fence was placed around the property uh, and mulch uh, that they actually took when they took the trees down uh, to, uh, they mulched, uh, they, they basically use that mulch to blend and stabilize the, the, the area on the site. Uh, the photos that you see in front of you are showing some of the installation requirement or some of the installed areas that they've already done in terms of the stabilization. They've got an entry pad. They did put down a temporary uh, area of uh, asphalt pad. The reason they did that was for future so that basically if uh, the owners came to the site uh, they could uh, have a place to park. Now there's no wetlands on the site and there is no uh, FEMA flood lines on this site either. Um, and what the application is here is they would like to be able to finish up their work, which is to clear some additional area to the property line, install a uh, temporary fence around the property with security and basically leave it as is and then uh, hydro seed the property itself and in terms of getting the uh, the soil itself uh, stabilized which you know been out there it, it's it, it's pretty stable right now but as we know during the when the <clears throat> when the winter starts to thaw out things could change a little bit so uh, that's why you know we've installed uh, the erosion controls that we did and they are uh, planning on uh, coming out and uh, hydro seeding the entire site um, you know, the question really comes down to is uh, this is something that uh, they have plans in the future uh, to actually develop the site. It's an industrial zone site, uh, but they <clears throat> had uh, initially started by coming in and clearing. Uh, so the application that's before you is for the permit for the sediment, the sediment and erosion controls uh, based on the existing conditions and they plan on doing nothing further. Uh, until they come in with a formal application uh, for uh, development, actual development of the site, which they uh, uh, are, are reviewing at this point. And hopefully something over the next couple of months, they'll get something in, into the town as they know what they're gonna do with the final components of the property. Um, so that's uh, basically, you know, uh, the presentation. I'll make one comment is that we did uh, receive comments back from the engineering department uh, we've addressed those comments. Uh, this plan represents everything that uh, was in compliance with those comments in terms of uh, the, the additional clearing that they're looking for to take uh, some additional trees down. And then all the protocols are gonna go with it to make sure that uh, we follow to the, to, the, to the letter of the law with the recommendations that came from the, from the engineering department. And, uh, and that's uh, pretty much it at this point. Derek, do you have any further comments on the application or? No, we went through a couple of uh, rounds of review and I'm satisfied they've addressed all my comments. And then recent site inspections, have you been out there at all or? Uh, we were out there last week to check and uh, we took some photos too. And what's shown here is pretty much what's out there now. They have the double row cell fence with the wood chips that's shown as existing. And uh, as, as stated, they're proposing to clear a little further to the property lines. Um, so they're putting additional erosion controls below that, but everything seems to be pretty well stabilized at this point. Okay. And so just, just for clarification, the, the built condition will be 
like a lawn area with a tracking pad and then a um, a fence and a asphalt pad. Yes, that's what's there now, and then that's what's going to stay there until we come with a formal application for actually developing the site. You know, it's an industrial zone, but there's nothing planned going from here forward. Does anybody else have any other questions? Do we have a, I know Dave's trying to talk, but he's on mute. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanted to say, we, all we're doing is going, we're all, only here tonight to approve the erosion and sedimentation that's already in place. Is that correct? Yes. Correct. And then there, there's some, um, some future work that, that they have to do to, to put in some additional erosion controls, right, Derek? Uh, yes, as they're showing on the plans at the property boundary. Okay. But what we are voting on tonight is only the erosion and sedimentation as it is in place right now. Am I correct in assuming that? Uh, we, we're going to be, you guys, you guys are approving what's in place now, yes, which is the, the inside line here that's existing. They are going to be doing some additional clearing from this silt fence limit to the property line where they want to put their temporary fence in. So that's the little bit of additional work around the perimeter here that isn't done today, but is part of this approval. And at that point, it would stay with the temporary fence. It would be uh, seated in the spring and remain this way until they come through planning and zoning approvals for whatever they choose to do. Correct. So I guess what I just wanted to say that Derek, this uh, what's being presented tonight is in a is in, in your approval the way it is, and and we can vote on it accordingly. Yes. Well, I, I would I would make a motion then that we approve this application based on this information. And then do we have a second on that? I'll second. Okay, so we'll put it to a vote. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, so that passes. And then good luck. And thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the commission. And I can say stay safe and uh, let's hope that someday we'll all be able, maybe we'll be able to meet. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. This is Selene, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Okay, so moving on to um, old business. We have uh, minor corrections to the Inland Wetlands and Conservation Commission uh, regulations effective uh, September 9th, 2020. Derek, do you wanna talk, talk through those edits? Yes. Uh when we when we formalized the regulations last year and did the updates that you had been working with Don Moisa on, um, I, I just did the way it happened very quickly. I didn't have a chance to really review it and go through it with Don. Just at looking at it now, there were some uh, issues with uh, just formatting that didn't look right. The table of contents, the page numbers were off from where they needed to be. So um, as noted in what I had sent you with the track changes on, they're just really minor corrections to uh, the regulation. They're not changing the regulations. They're just minor administrative edits. So uh, I had sent that over to the town attorney. He took a look at what I had shown you there, and uh, he felt that that didn't require us to go through a full uh, formal hearing process and everything that we went through last year. He said they're just really administrative corrections. So he felt he advised me to bring it to the commission anyway. Um, just as an agenda item so we could talk about it and bring it into the record that uh, if you approve or you have any comments on it, we can address it that way. Okay. Uh, so procedurally, we'll just, you know, discuss it a little bit and then put it to a vote. So does anybody have any questions or comments on the edits? 
Yeah, I have just a one quick question. I probably missed it somewhere. There's a couple of things highlighted in yellow. Uh, what, what were those for? Yeah, the, the highlights in yellow were just, um, if you looked at, I think originally when I first sent it out to you a few weeks back, I sent you the existing regulations as they are, and then my proposed changes. And if you looked at those two on the same page, the yellow was just indicating some major format changes. I think those that highlighted text was formatted to the left side of the page. So it's just been indented. So it matches up with the rest of the text. So I highlighted a few areas like that where we made some big format change. Otherwise, you can see the changes with the add and deletes and the uh, track changes. Okay, sounds good to me. Everything else looks very um, uncontroversial. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of clarification that occurred. Uh, does anybody have any other questions on? Do we have a, a motion to approve the the um, the clerical edits as well as the formatting changes? Uh, Dave, you're on mute. Sorry, so moved. And then do we have a second on that? Second, this is Clark. Okay, so we'll put it to a vote. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that passes. Moving on to new business. We have none. Lost the second page of this. Is there any correspondence? Derek? We did have one item that was added under general business. Um, we had the, the, the meeting minutes from the last two meetings were on under general business for approval. Um, I think I don't think everyone that was present at the November meeting was there, oh, there in December. Is. And we weren't, uh, so we didn't, you didn't vote on it at that time. It looks like John was at the meeting in November, but he's not with us tonight. So I don't know if you want to delay that one again. Um, it looks like the meeting minutes from December 16th, 2020, everyone that was there that night is here. Uh, so we need, Brent. so we'll, do we have a quorum on the November minutes? Looks like it. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's take care of them then. Okay. Do we have any edits on the minutes of the November 18th, 2020 minutes uh, meeting? Anybody? Do we have a motion to approve the November 18th, 2020 meeting minutes? I'll, I'll move to approve the November minutes. And then do we have a second on that? I'll second that. Okay, so all in favor? Aye. 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 So it's good. Uh, moving on to the minutes for the December 16th, 2020 meeting. I will note that Sue uh, pointed out to me on the first page um, in the second paragraph, I had made some edits to what she had provided me in draft form. So where it says in accordance with the governor, with Governor Lamont's executive order, um, it says the members following members were present via video telephone. So I'll just take out uh, the first oh, okay. word members there, just so you're aware of it. I'll make that edit. Does anybody else have any other edits or? Yeah, just, just one comment. It may have like to add a word uh... On page four, when we got into the discussion of that plan, uh, the purpose to be served by them doing something was to, for mitigation, I think that's something that it does, you know, it's something that's a guideline in, in our ordinances and everything. And it perhaps is, it was mentioned tonight a couple of times, so I'm thinking it perhaps ought to be added somewhere that that was the purpose to be served. Um, 
uh, probably one, two, three, four, five, fifth paragraph down. It's the one sentence I asked away to offset the impact of the wetlands. Um, uh, perhaps a way to mitigate the impact of the wetlands. Is it mitigate? Is that what you're saying with an M? Yes, mitigate. mitigate. Right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Offset and or use mitigate instead of offset, right, Brent? Yeah, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Do we have any other edits for the minutes? No. Do we have a motion to approve the the minutes with the, the two edits mentioned? I'll move to approve the minutes of the December meeting uh, with the two edits. Okay. And do we have a second on that? I'll second. Okay, so all in favor? Aye. 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 So that passes. Um, go back to the agenda here. And then uh, we had a letter from the town of Rocky Hill. Derek, do you know any? Anything about this application that that's before the town of Rocky Hill or? No, they're uh, notifying the town of Weathersfield because they're within 500 feet of the town line. Um, all I know is what it says in the letter. I didn't have a okay. chance to talk to them about it. Um, it. Looks like they're it's for construction of a drive-through restaurant. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure because I, I think that's the new Shell station that was recently yeah that's constructed there. I. I know. I was looking at it. I'm like, God, oh, how are they going to fit that in there? But unless they're modifying that building for some kind of drive-through around the back, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, who knows? But I could, uh, you know, I get some more information from them and let you know next month. And then um, do we discuss the. Well, we can introduce Dan, if you want, yeah. Derek. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to introduce uh, Dan Stanton. has been sitting in on the meeting. Uh, he started yesterday as a new construction manager, and he's also serving as the Inland Wetlands agent. Um, so he uh, offered to sit in tonight just to kind of get a feel for what's going on, and um, you know, just wanted to welcome him aboard. Hey, Dan. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Been a pleasant meeting. <laughs> <laughs> this is an easy one <laughs> i know right this is short yeah <laughs> and then um did you do we want i mean tonight is sue your is this your last meeting tonight with us it is i'm feeling feeling very very bad we're gonna miss I'm, you. I'm leaving you thank you so I just you, you want to say thank you, Sue, for, for all your work, and we appreciate the time you spent uh, helping us out. Yeah, you've done a very good uh, job. Thank, thank you, you very much, thank each you. one of you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. And then I th You're think that's about it. And then, Mary, um, do you have any trouble accessing our meetings at all? No. I mean, I, I don't get a picture, of course. But other than that, I, I just, you know, tap on the New York number and type, put in the codes and there's not a problem. Okay. And then you're able to, to review the, the PDF that Derek sends you and all that? Yes. Okay. So that works. I know Dave was having a little trouble, so I'm going to try and connect with him. Uh, unless, Lou, did, did you know that Dave was having trouble connecting to the, the meetings? No. I can I can check with him. Okay. Because Derek was saying that we can actually make a, a laptop available 
uh, to him if he needs it at Town Hall. Derek, I guess, has a, a spare laptop. I, I think he should be good to go. I'll, I'll check with him and circle back. Okay. Yeah, if, if anybody's having trouble connecting, just, just let Derek know. And um, he's got the means to, to, um, to help us participate in the meetings. So with that, anybody have any other questions or comments? And do we have a motion to adjourn the meeting at all? Motion to adjourn. Second. Well, all in favor? Aye. 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 And that passes. Oh, boy, who was that that seconded? Clark Nelson. Was, okay, thank you, Clark. Okay. That's it, guys. Be safe. Thank you. Yes, Sue, thank too. you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. everyone. Bye bye. Thanks, Thanks Derek. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Nice meeting, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good to see you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you.